back to my channel. My name is Thea. I'm so glad that you're here today. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my winter houseplant tour. So winter time, to be 100% honest, is not the most flattering time for a lot of my houseplants. I mean, some of them truly act like seasons who, they're just living their best lives, and then there's other plants that decide to just have crispy leaves, yellow dying leaves. It's definitely all normal part of houseplant care, but the winter time definitely brings along its own kind of struggles. But either way, I'm really excited to just share some updates with you and just show you how my plants are doing. And in this video, I am going to be sharing with you the plants that I have outdoors, so my begonias, my cacti. I thought that I was gonna make a separate video, but I want to just include it in my plant tours from now on, now that things are more settled in. So definitely grab your favorite cozy beverage and if you're new around here, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. Okay everyone, so this is the section of my front yard where I have a bunch of my plants as you can see. So starting off over here, I have some of my begonias and as you can see this baby really took a huge hit this winter because it was getting blown over by the wind. But there is some new growth coming in. So a lot of my begonias have definitely been liking being in this little west facing area because it's blocked from getting any direct wind. Then this begonia right here is blooming right now. Some new growth some more new growth like i said a bunch of these babies were looking really bald because a bunch of their leaves kept getting damaged so they're just gradually recovering right now and then lastly this girl over here now right here we have my lime tree that recently put out some new growth i ended up moving this hoya pubic calyx out here she's definitely been getting a lot more splashes And I realized the main issue when they were getting scorched was that I had them more in this area that tends to get more direct light. So I put the plants over here that needed some more shade. I have another Hoya down here that I honestly thought I had lost, but this is its most recent new growth. And the leaves definitely get bigger out here. Some cacti babies. That one's grown a lot. And we have some sun stress over here but also some new growth. Some more cactus. This baby's a little bald, but she's still hanging in there. And then if you all remember, this is my tricolor plant. So pretty. Okay, everyone. So starting off in this little corner, this is my west facing window. And we still have this little nook that I created here. If you all remember watching that vlog, but I still have my philodendron bipinifolium here. And these are the current leaves and the cuttings that i ended up taking already rooted which i'll show you all in a minute and then moving on over here to this side we still have my hoya numleroides here and she has not been putting out any new growth my hoyas that have been here have been riding the struggle bus so hard so it has this splashy heart-shaped hoya honestly it already lost two leaves this winter which was so sad but i'm trying my best to care for them so we'll see what they end up doing i've had them for a good while now but this is why i do not invest in like really expensive hoyas because i don't fancy myself like a hoya expert or someone who really knows what i'm doing with them i'm just really thankful for the ones that i have the ones that have stuck around so i'm just trying to care for the ones that i have and then we have this beautiful creature that cat ended up sending me a while back and she has made a recovery since we ended up moving this is her newest little leaf so cute and honestly this is my favorite leaf right now so pretty so this is the Syngonium Albo, honestly just 
perfection. We have a little philodendron micans. It has been putting out some new growth, but like really small leaves. And then everyone, we have my beautiful Monstera Deliciosa. This is one of its most recent leaves. It is the biggest one so far. It is so huge. And then this leaf over here that was one of my first slitted leaves is finally putting out a new baby. So for sure it's going to have slits, but I'm just really excited to see what it's going to look like. And currently there are a total of one, two, three, four, it has a total of four leaves with slits now. When, if you all remember, we started off with zero at one point because these were cutting. So this is very, very exciting. Now moving on to this little corner, we have my ruby rubber tree over here, Ficus elastica. She did end up getting some burnt leaves a while back, but her new growth is looking so healthy and so happy. Very, very pretty. I honestly can't imagine when she ends up just completely growing taller and taller that's gonna look so pretty now right over here we have my zz and she hasn't really been putting out that much new growth but she's just she's just living you know what i mean she's skating by and that's okay you know you don't have to continually put out new growth all the time and right over here we have another hoya this is my hoya obovada splash and she has been putting out new growth some of the newest growth here Ever since I moved this bookshelf in my previous vlog, I've kept it here. I honestly love having it here so much. And then we also have this little heart-shaped philodendron. I love it. We can never go wrong with trailing plants, right? It's so pretty. And continuing with the trailing plants trend over here, we have my Scandapsis pictus exotica. I think she's definitely doing better here than when I had her in my office. And I want to show you all, this is the coolest leaf that she's produced, in my opinion. It's like almost all silver. I think it looks so pretty. And then we have this baby that is riding the struggle bus that I ended up moving over here from my office because she was getting a lot of yellowing leaves. And I think it's because I've been, again, underwatering. Sometimes you just have some busy times in your life, you know? <laughs> I have a feeling that she's gonna be okay. I just need to keep up with my watering a little bit more. And then right over here by the TV, I still have my philodendron micans that has just continued to trail down more and more. And then over here, I did spot some new growth on this baby over here. Yep. That's the newest little growth there. So yeah, these are all of the plants that I have here by my west facing window. Now over here to the right side of my front door, I have Edward Scissorhands. So some Sensevaria babies, and then these are the cuttings that I ended up taking from my Philodendron by Pinifolia Mom. So, okay everyone, so now moving into my north facing kitchen window, we have this little pothos cutting that I replanted with you all if you remember and she has had new little growth points new little leaves so that's exciting what isn't so exciting is that this baby has been getting some yellow leaves so I'm just gonna go ahead and chop some of those off we don't need those there we go we really don't need those anymore then we have this little baby Hoya that's doing really well actually some new little leaves. We also have some new leaves over here, if you all can see. So exciting, and they're bigger too, which is really cool. And then we have my little bamboo plant doing her thing. So this corner of my kitchen is not the most exciting thing in the world to me, so in a future vlog, I definitely wanna zhuzh this up and give it a makeover. I have been working on giving my kitchen cabinets a makeover, so that's gonna be really fun to make over too and probably just have the plants in pots that just are more cohesive and placement wise i think that'll be a fun little project for us okay everyone and right here in my bedroom this is an east facing window my favorite thing in here is the fact that a little rainbow shines through every morning through my sun catcher as you can see this plant is still really huge i haven't spotted any new growth on her though but my sense of area kirky is still alive and going strong and i love her in this huge terracotta pot and then right down here we have another little 
Sensevaria baby. I ended up watering her yesterday because I completely have forgotten to water her so definitely very resilient plants okay everyone so moving in to my office so i still have some of my solecitos here and i plan on filling up this wall with some more but starting off over here with this shelf i have a bunch of trailing plants and this girl right here my manjula pothos just keeps producing more and more leaves and they're just getting so much bigger now it's so beautiful to see like look at that so pretty and honestly i'm just gonna keep letting her trail down and live her best life right over here we have my philodendron brazil again some dying leaves during the winter time and then right over here we have my og pothos my golden pothos we know her we love her older leaves have definitely been dying off and some of them are just getting bigger so i've said it once and i'll say it again you can never go wrong with the golden pothos i think it's definitely a good starter plant that will teach you so much about plant care. We have one really sad philodendron micans because I have been under watering her and I I want to show you what it looks like when you underwater it because she is looking scraggly like I honestly just needed to trim some of these little scraggly <laughs> stems but this is reality and I do want to show you and then right over here we have my black ZZ Raven and just her stems are growing out taller too so that's been really cool now my pegboard wall is looking really plain right now because a lot of the cuttings that I did have here I ended up taking out but I still have this baby and she is trailing more and more so that's really exciting to see and then on my desk over here, we have a philodendron burl marks that I started off as a cutting. I'll give you a nice little update. Look at those roots. I really do need to repot her or introduce her back into the mother plant. Here is the mother plant on this wicker shelf and she is just, again, living such a happy life newest leaf she really likes being near this south facing window so so pretty i get a lot of questions about this specific plant and then moving right down here we have my snow queen pothos and she is continuing to just trail down i love all of the different pothos varieties and she's been growing a bunch of new leaves up top here, which is really nice. And then right over here, I have a little hanging plant. This is my Hoya Bilobata, and she's been getting a lot of really pretty sun stress lately. And it turns this really pretty pinkish, rosy color. But yeah, she has a ton of peduncles. So fingers crossed we get some more blooms soon. Honestly, if you've been around my channel for a while, you know that she constantly blooms for me. And I can honestly say this is the one Hoya that has never let me down. I never have to worry about her. I used to have some plants here, but I currently don't. So I'm going to be redoing this little space because the Hoya that I used to have down here, I just ended up moving outside as you all saw. And now lastly in my office, we have a favorite little corner here. This is where I have a bunch of my books and stuff. This plant right here is my philodendron pedatum, and she is growing so tall. This is the newest little leaf. She's just growing out so beautiful. And then right over here, we have my Cebu Blue Pothos. Can we just take a minute to admire my Raphidophora tetrasperma? You guys, look at how beautiful this growth is. Let me zoom you in. It has gotten so much bigger, and like I said before, I really want it to trail all the way around. I think that would look super cool. So look at that new growth point there. And just to give you an update, the cuttings I had put here on the side, the older leaves ended up dying off, but there is some new growth that's going to be coming in here very soon. So yeah, those are all of the plants that I have here in my office. Okay, everyone, so that is going to be it 
for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some plant updates and just even seeing some plants that were struggling too, right? Let's keep normalizing that. That's a normal part of plant care. Winter is not the most flattering, like I said before. So I'm just glad I got to bring you along to see all of the updates. I really hope you enjoyed it. Also, if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of plant chore, plant maintenance vlogs where I sprinkle in some lifestyle content. So if you enjoy cozy vlogs and that sounds like your thing, definitely feel free to watch some of those videos. I have dedicated playlists on my channel. And also like this video, leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. Thank you so, so much for watching watching everyone. Stay cozy and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!